Hi folks, and although I come now to the second part MOSFET, cable renewal, etc. As you can see, I have already prepared a little. I solved all the cables from the motherboard. Here on the side, the cable tubes all removed. I just see below pinched something. OK. So here these parts all declined. So that I can get it all right. The same over here. Here is the current carrying cable. This is the cable that supplies power to the motherboard. The power supply I have unscrewed before. With three screws it was fixed here. The first step that I will do now. Here's at the bottom. So that I can work there better. I must get this pulled out. So far I have not removed the cables. Here at the bottom this part should be fixed here. Let's see how that belongs. Ok I think this is right. This protection on it. And then this connection comes in here. The switch. How does this work? I'll take the switch out. Then we have all the connections here. On a couple I've already pushed these cable lugs. Then I will fix the cables. And then I can work in the future with a normal PC cable. What you also know from the PC. To connect it. In addition, the ports are protected. I also plan. Wait a minute. I have to get something. So I have my cable lug box here. I will provide all cables with cable lugs. I show it later in detail. I will use this here. The cable lugs that have a hole in here. Then the cables are well attached to the screws. Here I have the sliding lugs. I take one out of the box. These look like this. Inside, something can be pushed. Ok, I'll show them from near. Oh, that's the wrong one. This is the right part. They can be pushed on here and then the cable is connected. There are ones with cover, these are without, these are with. Otherwise they are all the same. That's the first thing I want to do. The power cable. The big here. I take out completely. Because that is connected here in the future. The cables from the power supply to the remaining parts I exchange. For this I bought these thicker cables. The power cable to the motherboard must be maintained, of course. Because the motherboard must still be supplied with power. I'll see if I find better cable lugs for this cable, because at the moment the cables are screwed directly to the plug. The cable is thick enough for the power supply of the motherboard, so it does not have to be exchanged. For the MOSFETs, which comes at this side, I will make from these cables, two connections and then connect them to the power supply, so that I can supply the two MOSFETs each individually with electricity. Next, I'll disassemble everything further and disconnect the power supply from the cable, so I can put this down here to work. And then it goes on. I now have the black cable, which was previously the power cable, removed here and cut off a piece. I remove the black covering. I then hear three cable. Phase, neutral, protective have all provided with cable lugs. With the red ones, the size was perfect for these screws. These are now screwed again. Then I have to cut the length. So that the length is then enough to connect everything. If the cover is then screwed on here. That was the first. Next I would put the cable lugs on it. Then I have to measure two new cables from here to reach here. For this I take this length, which is easiest. For the two MOSFETs. The cables I screw synonymous then. That is the next step that I do. See you soon. But so you have seen it, now they are at here. Ok, see you in a bit.
So now we have this three cables installed here, you see. At the three terminals. To the old power cables for the motherboard. I have also add two cable lugs. I unscrewed the plug here and add two lugs here. They are screwed back here. I also have cut two red and two black wires in the right length. They can range from there to here. Each also provided with cable lugs. And now we start with the assembly. Of course I need a few shorter cables for the connections at the switch. I need to look at the schematic. I will link you the circuit diagram. Below in the video description and then it goes on. And now I have, as you see, made two cross connections here. Once from the switch and then here at the connector. So you can turn the power on and off. This is the ground, there you must plug the grounding cable. And here to these two connections add the power cables. Then we have to connect to these three connections the two MOSFETs and the motherboard. All the cables must fit in here. I'll fix the switch now, with hot glue. And then it goes on to put everything together. So now it is fixed. Here you can see a few hot glue residues, but whatever. And then we can now basically. I have to look that must be attached here. I have to sort the plugs. This is the ground cable. It's a bit tight. But then it's better connected. I have to look at the schematic again. Okay. The cable here. Black to brown. And blue at here. The cable is very loose. Now it's fixed. Then turn around this again. I almost broke the switch. So that's all fixed. The cables are indeed quite long, but I think there's enough room in there. Now we have to add the whole power cables and then I'll write back. So people. Now I have connected the six cables here. Two to the MOSFETs and another one to the motherboard. Three red and three black cables. The one to the motherboard is the old cable. Here are connected all, so I can use the switch. From outside add the PC power cable, and then I wrapped all with cable conduits, so this is all tidier. I've got a screw ready, unfortunately, only one side is to screw, I have to see, if that holds one sided. And then it comes over here. Well maybe the cables are still a bit long. I just want to get it over. And that's pretty stiff and keeps not really good. I screw it on one side and then I have to look what I do. And I believe that will not hold. Yes, of course not. This is of course a bit stupid. I do not want to bend it like that. Because this is totally bend, I just see. So maybe I should not have done this together yet. I'll do it again. These are then the difficulties I have in the beginning. Good question. This is fixed here. Which means the hole is at the wrong place. Actually I need here straight a hole. Here it would be much better. And this cables are much too long. Well, they are flexible, so it works. But these are very inflexible. This cable harness I have to get in there. All cables are still connected, which is good. Yeah, so I'll think about how I can fix it. So probably I'll cut a hole here and then it fits. But that was actually everything about the power supply. Because you can imagine it, I'll fix it there. And then we'll continue with these cables next time and supply the MOSFETs with electricity. We are building them here. And then we rewire everything. Yes, that would be the next step. First I'll cut the hole here. And then that is also done, the second part with the power supply. 
I screw the power supply only again to the back and then I'm done. Thank you for watching part 2 and then I rejoice with you at part 3. As you can see, there are always problems when you're not a specialist and I'm not, I am also a beginner. Until then and bye. Thank you.